For someone who was giving him shit about. I have nothing to hide. There was something else you wanted to ask. Oh yeah, I suppose uh, I should tell you I'm not actually French. <laughs> I'm fucking weak. <laughs> she just takes off her, her her like giraffe mask and it's just fucking like <laughs> Jason, Jason Statham just a kiss. <laughs> on, yeah. on a long neck <laughs> it's wearing just, a yeah. dress. <laughs> it's just it's just drunk as fuck Jason Statham oh, hell, after like a five day bender. You've been <laughs> fucking with me all day, haven't you? <laughs> I saw you questions. flowing up Thank in the sky taking so. pictures of me, pooping on show. my car. Not today, mate. You must be no, following It's my no car. fucking problem with yours. <laughs> as long as you fold me cock before you leave. I got a nose Thanks. that needs some fold. Actually, right? there is something. I know you two saw me stealing as you came in. I'm stealing. I appreciate that you didn't give me the third degree of bullying. You see, I'm trying to save up to follow my dreams, and, well, never mind. I'm fucking rambling. <laughs> it's no problem, mademoiselle. To be honest, we have a much larger crime to worry about. Although, I should probably ask, I don't suppose you've been stealing anything else? Silverware, perhaps? Oh, she's sweating. Oh, you know about that then, I. Yeah, I suppose that was me. Started with a couple of teaspoons. I didn't think the band would miss those, mate. But, uh, well, yeah, I suppose the habit got a little away from me. Oh, uh, I didn't get my cock full, so <laughs> all is wild that ain't as wild. <laughs> <laughs> That's one mystery solved, at least. Okay, was it was that a thing that... I don't, I don't think uh, so. Yeah, oh, she, okay. that was in uh, the, the, the the cat lady's oh, okay. Okay. story. She was like, yeah, it was weird, we didn't have any... I figured, like, she's, like they served, like, red and bloody foods to, like, make yeah. it look like, like when they were eating and then blood on there. And, and, you know, Got it. So. Yeah, it makes sense. I figured that was planned, but apparently that was just, uh, yeah. I would appreciate it if you didn't tell the Baron... He's been really kind, and I would hate to break his trust. I see. Well, I would hate for him to know that I broke his trust yeah, anyway. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> I would hate to break his trust by telling him that I'm not trustworthy. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm not. <laughs> Where to, Big Bird? Alright, let's uh, go up this bitch. Gotta go to the garden to see the mercy. Dame Catalin has said she found Monsieur Gunway on the stairs by the fountain, so this must be the very spot where the murder took place. Hey, Falcon! Do the cry... <laughs> crime scene investigating... No, sorry, just do the crime scene investigating thing. Okay. The crime scene investigation thing? Yeah, you know, that thing where you were all eagle-eyed and analyzed every object in excruciating detail. You mean search for evidence? Yeah, do that! <laughs> That's not a bad suggestion. It wouldn't be the first time a Parisian police missed something right under their noses. Uh. Alright, so there's this, there's that, there's that, there's that, there's that. Let's just look at that. Oh, That's the murder scene. Dried blood on the staircase. This must be where Monsieur Gurnry died. I'm sorry, do you see any, <laughs> any bloody footprints? Oh, 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 maybe a name scrawled in blood written with a frog's last breath. Wishful thinking. All I'm seeing here is a big sticky puddle. There's nothing to indicate that the body was moved or that the frog left a last minute clue. All I can make up from the bloody mess is that Monsieur Grenouille was attacked and killed on the staircase. I, I was expecting the, like, CSI mm. thing to be, like, the actual, like, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that happens in Space Station 13. Awesome! <laughs> it happens once per pair of sunglasses you put on. Oh my god. If you're the detective. Yeah. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> A finely crafted horse statue. That mane looks almost lifelike. Would you say it behooves uh, you to stroke uh, it? Uh, oh man. God damn no. it. No, I would not. Baron Rorgil certainly likes his horse statues. 
I don't mind the horse statues, but the little cherub people creep me out. Baby should be waddling, not attempting saddleless horseback riding. Right. Oh, this is fucking weird. All right. If you insist, mother bird. Goddamn. So there's this, this, and that. Check it. A horse statue. This one has a goofy face. This one has a funny face. That reminds me of a joke. A horse walks into a bar, and the barkeep says, Oh my god. Why the long face? Yes, we've all heard that one. What? No. The barkeep says, You've got to stop coming here. You're drinking us under the stable. <laughs> Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time to rein in the horse jokes. Oh, god damn it. This is what got me kicked out of Pathfinder. <laughs> <laughs> This is what keeps me in Pathfinder. <laughs> Another beautifully made horse statue. You know, my uncle once had a horse that refused to eat hay. Here it comes. God damn it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yep, eventually we realized that it was just filling up on <laughs> horse derbs! No, no, horse derbs. <laughs> <laughs> These are yeah. fucking groaners. This, this one was great. This one got me. That's fucking <laughs> hilarious. Anyone who doesn't isn't like pissing themselves in laughter right now is humorless <laughs> and and will never know joy ever again. Ugh, terrible. <laughs> Fuck you, Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> so the fountain. <laughs> This fountain is finely crafted. It's solid carved marble that couldn't have been, can't have been cheap. I see nothing but water in the bottom of the lower basin. It's a shame we can't see inside the upper basin from here. That would be a perfect place to quickly stash a murder weapon. That's Objection. actually not a terrible line of reasoning. We ought to wade in to yeah, take a closer once. look just to be sure. Yeah, I suppose we should. Oh, I apologize. I wasn't being direct enough. What I meant to say is, Sparrison, go wade into the fountain <laughs> and take a closer look inside the upper basin. Yeah. <laughs> Me? No way! If you want to go waddling, do it yourself! I'm you a respectable into someone's boy. House? Like, you can't expect me to roll up my trousers and paddle around a fountain like a duck in the lake. Yeah, well, you don't pay me enough to justify getting my sweet threads wet. Duck walked up to a murder stand and he said to the man, Can I, face, Can I join face? Can I join face? Oh, fuck you, you fucking cunt. <laughs> look, there's only one reasonable way to settle this. We'll flip, we'll flip for it. Why don't this fly up there and just look? <laughs> flip for it? Yep, I'll flip this one front coin. coin. You call you the call outcome. A, oh. Get it wrong and you go for a swim. <laughs> so, what'll it be? Heads or tails, Napoleon? Face or plant squiggles? Uh. Plant oh, squiggles? It's called a wreath, Sparrowson. Sure, I'll bet on that plant squiggles. Here I go. Its heads should have gone with the old emperor, Falcon. Oh, fine. Hold my shoes. Fal Falcon! Really should learn how to spot a rigged coin flip. <laughs> I'm a giant asshole, you see. I almost feel bad for cheating. God, Thurston's like really questionable morals. Yeah. <laughs> almost. Oh, you're back. Had a good swim. <laughs> no, I'm a bird, not a fish. Well, he's a falcon, he does actually. I did find a mystery item in the upper basin. It's no murder weapon, though. It looks like a loaf of bread. It's like a bullet in the shape of bread. Bread in the shape yeah. of a bullet. <clears throat> what is this? It's brown and sticky. It smells weird. Don't tell me that you picked up a a very wet cigar butt, oh, possibly belonging to Baron Rogel. Correct. But that shouldn't be too surprising. It's his house, after all. I'll stash it in the evidence folder just in case. Is there anything else we would need to do here? Wait a minute. What? 
there's a, if there's only one cigar butt in there, was he smoking a cigar in the photo? Because if he was... He wasn't in the photo. Oh, he wasn't in the photo, that's right. That's correct. Well, he wasn't in the photo that we've seen. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, let's, uh... Frogs, ten. Because we gave ten to the. Got red herring. Some steak. Some... Got that shit. I think we're done here. Good call. But are you sure you don't want to take another dip? We still have time. <laughs> don't push your luck. <laughs> Did you messieurs have a good look around? I trust everything was in order. Up front. You had a good look, thank you, Baron. But we actually have some questions for you. Please, ask away, I have nothing to hide. Uh, yeah. Baron Rogel, I'd like to ask you about your activities on the night of the murder. Oh ho! Am I in trouble? Oh, not at all. Because you totally are. <laughs> it's just me. that you're probably the murderer. Yeah. We're just gathering the full picture. I see. Let me think. Let me think. The guest arrived at five o'clock. And we all sat down for dinner in this very hall at six. <laughs> I like... That part went magnificently! The photographer arrived at 7 o'clock, but it wasn't until 7.30 that we had our picture taken. Okay. So, so 7.30 is the time is of the picture. the picture, the dinner was at, at 6, yeah, which, we'll is see had, which is the dinner's when they had all the, uh, all the food, like the red stuff. Yeah. The raw meat, basically. Mm -hmm. Um... So the blood would have been, like, dry by then. Yeah, probably. My housemaid discovered the crime scene soon after that. Let's see. Is there something else I can help you, Monsieur? So I believe that photo is probably going to say 7:30 on it, even though it doesn't have it arms. Is. It could yeah, very well be. Like he probably set that up. Yeah, and told the maid to be like, uh. Oh. I don't know if going to get her in trouble. Can you match your housemaid? You all. She's a curious young lady, isn't she? <laughs> don't tell her she's not telling her. <laughs> yes, she was more than willing to help us with our investigation. Glad to hear it. Do you want to ask something else? No. no. Fucking off. That's too low. <laughs> no, that's too low. <laughs> I think that will be all, Baron. Thank you very much for your time. Stop forming my call. Now get out! <laughs> <laughs> it was a pleasure. Have a delightful day, Monsieur. <laughs> um, Did you get all the information you needed, Falcon? <laughs> I hope so. Don't worry. If everything goes wrong in the trial, we can always just... WING IT! I'm sorry, I thought she was corn. <laughs> sorry, I thought she was corn. Daddy did good, huh? Terrible. Just terrible. Let's head back <laughs> to the office and get some rest. Oh my god. Spirison's the best. <laughs> do, 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 do. One day later. Palais de Justice. Can I assume... you go back to the studio? That's a good idea. Let's go see if that picture is gone. Let's go see if that... Oh. Oh, we just have to go straight there. It's just, no, we're going, it's going to be late. late. Would have been nice oh, to see okay. if it we was... Yeah, let's just go to the... time was actually in the picture, but... It's fine. Maybe we gathered... They, they said it wouldn't take time, but they lied. <laughs> I thought they were free actions. Uh, Philcom and Sparrison stand inside the marble portis. I don't know. I haven't uh, seen that one. Yeah, portico. Portico. Uh, of the Palais de Justice, awaiting the opening of the Tribunal de Grande Instance. 
Are you nervous, Falcon? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Dot, 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 whatever. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That bad, huh? Ow. Monsieur Falcon, Petite Sparrowson. No, that was just me. Monsieur Falcon, Petite Sparrowson. Is that anything you need me to do? I know it's you, I was just taking no, it over like no. a dick, just because it's funny. No, it's all good. <laughs> yeah. We've got to handle on things. Falcon was just telling me how confident he was <laughs> feeling about this kiss! That's wonderful. I just know you two will pull through. Let's move it along, fellas! That's too loud. Ah, ah, I'll be. Oh, <laughs> I'll be watching from the inside. Do your best for me, Monsieur Felgen. I could not get the voice right. That's, that's good. I was just cycling through all of them. <laughs> oh, God. Is it this one? No. Is it this one? Is it this one? Is it this one? We will. Are we ready? Yeah, we're ready. Yeah, we ready, son. Ready? Yeah, this ready? Shit. Oh, God. The judge is a bit terrifying. Yeah, oh my actually God. scared. It's a penguin. Is that a penguin? Uh, it could be a penguin. You see, like, the emperor penguin yeah, eyebrows. Yeah, emperor penguin thing, but it's that, like, the beak is super fucking long, so I don't know. Yeah. What the fuck. Is he a kiwi? No. Not a hummingbird, is it? I don't know. We'll find out, maybe. I don't know. He's too, <laughs> like, big and fat to be a hummingbird. Oh, well, yeah. So oh, I, I guess I could, I could do this. Or you sure. too. Uh, I'm, I've been doing the, like... Extras. Oh, do it. Yeah, go for it. All right. Shuttle down, everybody. Shuttle down. It's everybody here. <laughs> <laughs> JJ Falcon present. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Um, um, Rupert Reddington present. And ready is prosecution, Your Honor. <laughs> but she do cocaine. <laughs> oh, uh, darn, that's not it. Oh, gosh, where are my notes? I'm a fucking idiot. Ha! I knew it! Knew what? Rupert and I went to Paris Law School together. He was in all of my classes. Oh, was he smart? Pfft, no! He was always scored the second worst marks in the class. I can only assume that he bumbled through the final exams on the luck he has two rabbit's feet. God damn it. Unless he's improved considerably, you might already have this trial in the bag! That's good to know, but say, Sparrowson, if Rupert scored the second lowest marks in the class, yeah, it was, it was then who scored the, the lowest? I chose to exercise <laughs> my right to not self incriminate! <laughs> I, yeah, that's, me. that's great. I'm the waste. Ah, oh, here it is! Uh, the prosecution is ready, Yana. Are all the jury present? Oi. Oh, crazy ain't a cat with full, your honor. <laughs> it's a toucan. <laughs> Look at the toucan. Wow, he's, uh... He's really he impressed. is taking himself really seriously. <laughs> I also really like the hippo. Like, I, I like... It's Potamus up there, just like, get that thing I sent ya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I really like... Oh, this emu over here? Yeah. He's really not sure about this whole jury. He's also a thing. goat. He's just like, oh, God, I had so many plans. He's like, oh, how dare they call me. It's a... So you're. Uh... Oh, sorry. Hey, Falcon. I thought there were only six members of the jury for cases like this. Why do I count eight? Oh, those two birds with the funny hats are us. Assessors, the associate judges. Uh, everything seems to be order. <laughs> everything seems to be order. So let us begin. The court is now in session for the trial of Dame Catalan de Miao. Persecution, please call your first witness to the stand. Oh gosh, are we there already? Okay, uh, I choose to call the officer in charge of the murder investigation, Inspector Velerte, to the witness stand. Inspector Velerte, please approach the stand and recite to the oath. Uh, what, uh, what is... Uh, 
Uh, he's definitely a chicken, so, uh... Yeah. As you will, your honor. <laughs> I swear to speak without hatred and without fear. So tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Monsieur, no, um, Inspector. Please state your uh, name and occupation for the record. I'm French. My name is Inspector Juste Volette. I am a servant of the law. A scourge of the gutter rats that plague this city. I have enforced the law for over 20 years, you see, and I shall continue until I bring the infamous Viridian Killer to justice. <laughs> My path begins 18 years ago. Yes, let's, let's stick to the question, Inspector. Of course, Your Honor. What's getting up? Oh, great. I was hoping we could have one of those bumbling, cuddly officers. But instead, we're stuck with lawful goody two shoes. I bet this guy would turn in his own mother if he saw, uh, saw her littering. So, uh, Inspector, uh, is it true that you deal, or is it true that you are the lead investigator on this case? That is correct. I, uh, I was also among the first to arrive at the scene of the crime. Then perhaps you can walk us through what you witnessed upon your arrival. Absolutely. Just after 7.30 we were alerted and brought to the scene by the housemaid of Baron Rorgriel. So 7.30 they were brought so that murder happened around 7.30. Uh, that, we do that already, I think. Well, yeah. It was like before the photo. There. The oh. picture happened at 7.30. But the... They, Police arrived The maid at told... 7.30? Hold on, so, so, so they, they were brought there uh, just after 7.30. You, you can check the case notes on this. So from what I can gather, they showed up like a, like a little bit after the picture was taken. Yeah. yeah. So that was pretty fast. They got called, and that that happened that that fast afterwards. All right. At the scene of the crime, we found Dame Catalan de Mel. She was standing over the corpse of the Monsieur Grenouille, with his blood on her paws. I reckon. Well, that sounds like an open and shut case, in my humble opinion. <laughs> no, uh, no more questions, Yana. Nobody told me that detail. Keep it together, Falcon. You're about to be given the opportunity to cross-examine the witness. That's your opportunity to find flaws in the inspector's testimony. Of course, I know this. 